So, say I want to draw a planet like, I don't know, Neptune. You gotta know the general details of the planet first. I know that it's a significant dark blue. It has a big dark spot. And it has little, sometimes it has little bands. And it has little, um, kind of white flurries around it. So, yeah, I'll show you how I drew it. So, you take your little circle tool. Select that. I'm just gonna make it a dark blue and make sure your fill is set to solid color and you draw it but what's really cool is that you can hold shift and it'll make a perfect circle yay so that way it won't like bend and fold and stuff so there's our circle yay and so here's where we start drawing so to draw all the details on your planet you go to this little brush tool um, and you select this, the paintbrush. You max the size up. And I know it has like a little bit of dark blue bands on it. So I'm going to draw those. I'm going to make a dark blue. And I'm going to draw. So yeah, just kind of make it look natural. And Lazy, lazy, and then do some on the bottom. And then you take this little um, paint bucket, this to fill, and then you tap inside of each of the little cloud blobs. And then you see this little outline right there? That's because the outline of the brush is fuzzy. So you take the brush again, and then you go around it, and then color in the outline. So that way it's not there when the entire thing is shown. So there's our little, those are the details, or the little stripey stripes. So now you do the the big dark spot and you do the same for what you did with the entire base of the planet. It's except you don't hold shift to make a little oval. And then you can put it up high or up low, but not that high or else it'll just look goofy. I'm gonna put it down low for this one. Or no, like that. And then you take the brush tool again and you get a really light blue color like a dece and then there's some little white clouds around the, the storm so I'm just gonna do that and there we go and then you just do some little uh, you need a lighter color than that than the planet and you just I just do that so how I did the shading is I took this little curve tool next to the line in this little box tray and then you take a dark color um, <laughs> hold on. and you make it a little darker than the base color set the size all the way up and then so here's the tip about the the curve tool so you you hold where your start point is going to be and then you select where the end point is going to be so I'm going to say right there. 
and then the direction that you do it in is the way that you curve it so depending on how far you pull it away is how much bend it's gonna have and since it's not filled up all the way there you go and then you're gonna take the fill tool again and then boop and then for every detail you take a darker color than that and then you boop 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 oh no boop so I'm gonna keep doing that And then you see this little line where things just get cut off from the curve you did? Just select that same color that you did. And then just draw over it wherever your details are. And there's the outline again, so you do the same. So you might notice how the edges of the planet are a little messy. So here's the solution. You take the circle tool, make sure the fill is set to no fill, and then you take whatever color of the background it is that you have, and then you do the same diameter or circumference of the planet, you put it right on it. And then you take the brush tool again, so yeah, all these details apply to every planet or any planet you want to draw. So I hope you take this advice along, you, along with you and I hope you try it yourself.